So if you're like me, when you first started editing, you probably picked the Lightroom, you downloaded it, and then you started using it, and then you saw all these tutorials and things on Lightrooms that didn't look anything like the Lightroom you were using, and then you found out that there's multiple Lightrooms. Let's clear it up, shall we? <laughs> Will Simpson here. Welcome back to Exploring Photography. It's good to see you again. Today we're going to cover the confusing world that is Adobe's mind because uh, they just like to do things that is confusing like have one, two, or three different Lightrooms and yeah. So the first thing to understand is there is actually two technical Lightrooms. There's Lightroom Classic and then there's Lightroom which used to be Lightroom CC which used to be Lightroom. To, to really understand this, let's go over a really quick brief history. In 2007, Adobe came out with Lightroom Classic, which was called just simply Lightroom. And it was Adobe's program to simply edit photos, uh, aside from Photoshop. In 2015, they renamed Lightroom to Lightroom CC, which is still technically Lightroom Classic, but they also came out with Lightroom Mobile so you could sync your photos. Then in 2017, they renamed Lightroom CC to Lightroom Classic CC and came out with Lightroom CC. So now you have two different Lightrooms and they switched the names. And then finally, in 2019, they renamed Lightroom Classic CC, dropped the CC, called it Lightroom Classic, and changed the name from Lightroom CC to simply Lightroom. So, I don't know. I, it took me a while to get my mind around that. And honestly, all those little chop cuts that you see, I can't, I couldn't even get my mind around it. So I had my notes over here. So I had to keep taking my notes and it's a whole kerfluckle fluffle of confusion that Adobe likes to do. Essentially, there are two Lightrooms. There's Lightroom Classic and then there's Lightroom, which is Lightroom Creative Cloud CC. But here's the difference. Lightroom Classic is a desktop editing program. You edit photos from hard drives or from your computer. Lightroom or Lightroom CC is a cloud-based program where you upload all of your files into the cloud and which you can then edit from. All right, so let's go over the differences here. Essentially, the editing is about the same, but there are some features that are different and I have my notepad here to go over them. The first thing is Lightroom CC doesn't have the side-by-side -side comparison as of this video, that is. I'm sure it'll eventually have it. But in Lightroom Classic, you can simply take two photos and you can compare them against each other. So if you're trying to call through photos or go through photos and find the one that's the most sharp or the best looking one and you wanna compare them, this is a very, very key tool that I use all the time to just go through photos and find the best one. The next thing, and I don't actually use this myself, but the print feature, uh, if you wanna print photos directly from Lightroom Classic or from Lightroom, you can only do it in Classic, you cannot do it from CC. And the next thing is tethering. Tethering is where you connect your computer to your camera and every time you take a shot, it brings it up onto the screen. And that is really good for studio shoots. I use that myself, but it does not available in Lightroom CC, the Lightroom without the CC, the cloud-based Lightroom. <laughs> uh, now, th that's obviously all benefits for Lightroom Classic. However, Lightroom CC or Lightroom, the cloud-based one, oh, you see, this is even confusing just to say, they should have just given it a different name. Anyways, Lightroom itself, the cloud-based program, syncs itself with Lightroom Mobile. So Lightroom Mobile can be on your Android, your iPad, your iPhone, and you can sync the two. So when you upload photos into Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom CC on your computer, these will inevitably connect. Now you can do this via Lightroom Classic as well. You can upload them to the cloud. I honestly never do this, but all you do is you, you create a catalog and you put upload you upload them into the cloud and then you can sync them across all three Lightrooms. But the Lightroom CC itself, it does automatically. A couple of other benefits to the Lightroom Classic is the virtual copies, which I use all the time. You make, a, you make an edit of a photo, you copy it, create a black and white, do some adjustments. Awesome way to create duplicates of the photos. Also, there's a lot of third party integrations like Luminar and stuff like that, which is really easy to go into Lightroom Classic and then go back to Lightroom Classic after editing in other softwares, makes it super simple. The biggest difference is one is a desktop based, hard drive based, one is a cloud based. Now, I, all of my videos, all of my tutorials, except for like 2% of them are Lightroom Classic. That's why I've had lots of comments and questions in my video saying, my Lightroom looks different. Well, this is why. 
because you're probably using Lightroom, Lightroom CC, and I'm using Lightroom Classic. Now, both of them essentially have the same editing tools as a whole, and you can absolutely edit from one to the other. I just started with Lightroom Classic and never ever started using Lightroom. Um, in fact, I was one of the ones that had no idea that there was two until I found, got started getting all these questions and I was like, oh, <laughs> there's two. Anyways, essentially they're the same thing. It just depends on what you want to do. So let's go over a couple of things. If you edit on Lightroom Classic, you have to use hard drives. I use these SanDisk hard drives. This is a two terabyte one, which I highly recommend and I use them for everything. They're kind of drop resistant, dust resistant, water resistant, all that. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, if you want to get one, I highly recommend them. I travel with them all the time. I also have a OWC Thunder Bay 4 Mini, which is a 2016, 12, some, a lot of terabytes for my second backup. Hard drives are expensive. As you get more and more photos, you get more and more hard drives. You always want to have a backup to your backups. It adds up and hard drives eventually fail. I have never had any hard drive fail, knock on wood. And uh, I've never had a problem with that. But let's say you don't take your hard drive with you on a trip and you need to edit a photo or you need to access a photo. Well, if you don't have your hard drive, you can't access the photo. So there are some pluses and minuses to Lightroom Classic. Lightroom CC, Lightroom, God, it's gonna annoy me. Every photo is uploaded automatically into the cloud. Now, as you upload these photos, you're paying for cloud storage and it can get very expensive. For example, um, I think you get 100 gigabytes for free, which is great, but that's gonna add up. If you shoot in raw, if you shoot a ton of photos, if you fire off hundreds of photos at a shoot, that 100 gigabytes is gonna go immediately. My 12 terabyte hard drive is almost full and I've been, and that's over about a year worth of, worth of footage. So that can add up really, really fast. Now, to just give you an idea, 10 terabytes uh, a month, this is a month, is $102. 20 terabytes a month is $204. That's a lot of freaking money. I mean, this, this hard drive right here, this two terabyte hard drive is $240 or something around there. Uh, and this 12 terabyte hard drive is, was I think $1,000. So after 10 months, you've paid for this and it's permanent. And then after one month, you've paid for this and it's permanent. So I value the hard drives a little bit more personally. Uh, it's just kind of a downfall of the cloud base. That leads me into the questions of which one should you use? So let's go over the questions here. First, what do you edit on? Do you primarily edit on your computer or do you primarily edit on your phone or iPad or something like that? If you edit primarily on your desktop, then Lightroom Classic works totally fine. But if you primarily edit on mobile or iPad or Android or tablet or something like that, then you're probably gonna wanna use Lightroom. Now the next question is, how many photos do you take? Are you a <laughs> photo taker or are you a click, click, you know, one of those. If you take, a, oop, if you take a ton of photos, like just fire off and you're like, you know what, more the better. Lightroom Classic is probably gonna work better for you because you're going to save a lot of money on the hard drive side. If you're like a, a vacation taker picture -er, and you're taking one here, one there, and you take an all in JPEG, then fine. Lightroom uh, CC or Lightroom will probably be just fine and you can probably get away with it for the cheap amount. And the next question is, how seriously do you edit photos? Now, what do I mean by this? Are you one of those who really gets into edits, really manipulates the photos, really changes things, wants to have full customization? Because if you are, then Lightroom Classic is probably gonna be the best bet because you're gonna be shooting raw files and you're gonna have large files. That free storage that they give you is going to disappear very fast with raw files averaging 35 to 50 megabytes per file. So those two come in hand in hand. Um, if you're shooting just kind of family photos and you just want to do a light touch up and you want to do a quick edit or slap on a preset and you're shooting JPEG, then Lightroom CC would probably be, or Lightroom, God, it's going to kill me. So, okay. So we're just going to call it Lightroom from now on. Then Lightroom is probably going to be your best bet there. So those are the different options. And then finally is price. Do you want to spend a per month fee for the cloud storage? Or do you want to spend a one time for a hard drive like this two terabyte one? and then done, this will last you a long time. And then once this is almost full, 
get a backup, back it all up onto some bigger, cheaper hard drive that you don't really use and then reuse it. So that works too. Then you save all your stuff. So those are the different things that you can go through to decide which one works best for you. But in the end, either program is going to work great. Honestly, I use Lightroom Classic 95% of the time. I use Lightroom Mobile about four and a half percent of the time and I use Lightroom Cloud 0.5% <laughs> of the time. In the end, you're gonna get great images, you're gonna edit the same, you're gonna do the same features. Most likely the, the features that are missing in Lightroom that are in Lightroom Classic will eventually be there. Everything catches up, everything updates. And, it's, and maybe at one point Lightroom Classic disappears, but I think they tried that one time and people like freaked. So maybe not. Anyways, either way, I hope this helps. I hope this clears the difference between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. I have tons of videos on how to edit and the, the techniques should be fluid if slightly different throughout both programs, but I hope they help you out, help you get to the edits that you want. Other than that, let me know in the comments which one you like better. If you know something that one of them doesn't have that the other one does, let me know. Let's make this a whole little stream. Hit the like button if this helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Love having you guys along here on this journey. And uh, YouTube recommends this video next, so go check that out. I'll see you guys later.